girlfriend in the lobby, show me something, keep it soft and turn nobody in your city, smoke exotics. Hey, spin it slow. Oh, oh, yeah. What's up? What? Ain't nobody worried about you? Anyways, y'all. So I am back at it again, my popular demand. <laughs> Yeah, so, first things first, I know y'all want a little update, but I don't want to make this a chit-chat get ready with me because, I mean, I don't feel like chit-chatting with y'all. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so, I'm going to show y'all how to take this uh -huh, into, you know, whatever I just do, whatever I come up with, child. So, I was going to do my brows off camera, but I thought, why not? Why not give y'all a little see and let y'all know what I've been doing? So, this is going to be a little makeup tutorial. Um, how about I just give y'all a quick little update? So, me and Travis, Travis, have found a home. We are in base loud lodging right now. So, a hotel. So whatever i gotta get it i gotta get it popping wherever i'm at because if i don't then i'm not making no coins and then we're gonna be broke and we're really gonna be home this time <laughs> so yeah that's what's going on right now that's my little rag ratchet little setup in a bit so we're gonna go ahead and get started <laughs> okay so first things first if you didn't wash your face, make sure you get the little curl out your eyes. Cause you know, sometimes you just don't got time to do that, okay? It's just, <laughs> just plain. So what I've been using lately is this Anastasia uh, brow pencil. Brow is. And it's in the shade Ebony. So I get to go on with this. Uh, my black and beautiful makeup tutorial okay so what I've been doing is just outlining the bottom of my brows like such so once you outline them I like to just outline the top but I start in the middle so I'll go from the middle and I just outline create my little arch and bring it down now I'm gonna go in with this Sigma brow powder. This is the dark brow powder, and it just have a two colors like any other goddamn brow powder. So we're gonna take <laughs> the dark shade with a little brush. So the dark shade I go on the tail, and then I work my way into the brow. So you want to leave the front half vacant because that's where you're gonna use the lighter half to get that faded brow. Oh yeah, and. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. If you want to fix my nail, it's $3. I will leave my PayPal information down below. So now we're going to take the lighter shade and just fill in the front with light, light, soft strokes. Now we're going to conceal these mofos. And I've been using the MAC, uh, blah, blah. I've been using the MAC Studio Finish little cream concealer y'all know what it is in the shade nc42 and i miss using creams to conceal my brow because y'all honey they get your brows literally snatched honey what i'm going to be using is this sigma flat definer brush and it is the e15 and i will leave all the links to the sigma products um it is affiliate link you can use it you can't use it but i mean girl come on help me get these coins <laughs> anyways we're gonna go ahead and conceal our brows alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and start on our eyeshadow today so the first color I'm gonna use is in the Kylie burgundy palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade brick and it is this color right here let me see if i can get it to focus i'm using a sigma e40 brush which has been my favorite blending brush 
besides the MAC 224. I've been thinking about going back to that brush because that brush is lit. So we're gonna go ahead and work this in our crease. And I did put a lot down because this is gonna be our main color of the look. So you just wanna pack a lot in your crease and just blow it out. really really blow it out okay so the next shade i'm gonna go in with is beach which is the top middle shade i don't even know if i'm pointing it but right there and i'm gonna use that same brush and i'm just gonna use this on the edges of this color just to blend it out so it's not so you don't have like really really harsh edges so now we're gonna do i'm going in with another sigma brush it is the sigma exact blend e 32 so the first shade i'm gonna go in with is this shade over here and it's called penny so we're gonna go in with this shade and we're gonna pack it on our lid this is gonna be a matte eyeshadow look just because i was just in the mood to do a matte eyeshadow look today so we're just gonna pack this on our lid Okay, Kylie, like, I like your shadows, but all this fallout, girl. I'm about, this gonna make me fall out, okay? <laughs> like, you wanna go in with the Kylie Bronze palette, and I'm gonna go in with this middle shade, which is Chatrine, and I'm gonna pack that on top, just to kind of brighten up the orange. Girl. Alrighty, so that is the eyeshadow look. We're gonna go ahead and do some eyeliner. So what I've been liking to do is use two eyeliners. So I'm gonna go in with the NYC liner, and then I'm going to flick it out with the um, Trooper Kat Von D liquid liner. Cause I noticed that the Kat Von D liquid liner girl will make my eyes running like I'm at somebody's funeral. So the mascara I'm gonna go in with today is the Roller Lash. And I was out with um, Travis's best friend, Matt. Well, his girlfriend and her friend, um, Isabella and Jazz. So Jazz told me to try this at when I was in the Sephora. So I tried it the other day and I really like it. Like y'all, if y'all have small lashes that don't wanna do right, like your baby's daddy, it's a girl. If you need to whip him in your lashes in the shape, boom, get into it. A roller lash. Lashes I picked up the other day are these expensive ass lashes from Velour. And they are the fluffy and thick. And I thought since that's how I've been looking lately, since I've been getting a little late, like why not, you know? <laughs> So I did trim them, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. So and I guess this will kind of be a first impressions because I haven't worn them. Alrighty, so now we got our lashes on. They look you thick and fluffy. Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prime. I'm gonna use my Michael Jacobs Coconut Primer. I was about to lie, y'all, and tell y'all because it's cold as hell in Alaska, but it hasn't even been like it hasn't even been cold here. So to color correct, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Orange Cream Color Corrector. And I've been, y'all, I've been really liking this color corrector. The one from Anastasia, Anastasia, like I love the color of it, but it was just so dry. And I noticed that it was making my makeup look crazy. So for, for foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Do It and Smooth Child, cause I wanna look like a baby ass. So. <laughs> Beauty Blender and blend this out. I think I got it up. Okay, so for concealer today, I'm using two concealers. So the first concealer I'm gonna go in with is my Matte Pro Longwear NC45. And then I'm gonna top that off just under my eyes um, with the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. <laughs> my Laura Mercier and I'm gonna press this in so what I've been doing lately is whatever I kind of have on the brush I kind of just 
go along my face this is just helps me get like a flawless 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 finish because it's just using less powder and it's really pushing the powder into your foundation so it's not powder sitting on top of your foundation so you're not looking crazy so that's what i've just been doing to get a flawless i'm at the effing face so now we're going to bronze and sculpt so this is a little trick for all um, my thick girls out there to get his face snatched honey so what i call bronze and sculpt is i never really talked about this on my channel i don't think but i do it all the time so what that means is to bronze your face with a warmer tone powder and then go in with a cooler tone powder to actually sculpt and slim the face so that's what we're going to do today honey so i'm going to go in with my mac mineralized skin finish in deep dark and i'm using this amorphe m527 which is my favorite brush to bronze with so I'm just going to take some, go side to side. And then we're going to use the brush to actually push it under our cheeks. So I place it like this. And I go like this. So I really place it. So what I'm doing now is just warming my skin tone back up. So now that you have bronzed your face, kind of brought that color back into your face, you want to sculpt. So sculpt, you're going to use a darker tone powder. So I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geek um, Contour Powder right here. This is their dark. I have all the colors. And the one I'm using is Half Hearted. So I'm just taking a little on this Morphe M437. And we're going to go like right here, like right back here is where you want to place that color. So I don't know if you dolls can tell, like this side looks more sculpted and defined than this side. We're gonna go right. You wanna poke your jawline out and go right here, right behind it. So that is how you slim down the face. So what I'm gonna do is spray my face with some Fix Plus before we add our highlight. Just hold your head high and just let it fall on your face. I'm pretty sure somebody did that last night <laughs> I was on it. but you know we ain't gonna talk about that girl so <laughs> I want to take this um, makeup geek highlighter in firework and I'm gonna use this Morphe M4 I mean M310 to add a highlight y'all I love this highlight for women of color like it's so warm toned and so pretty so the blush we're gonna go in with is this blush from uh, mac and it is raisin i just got this blush i noticed a lot of women of color use this blush <coughs> excuse me whoa so yeah so i'm in loving this blush and i'm going in with my favorite blush brush which is from morphe and it is the m43 m403 Alrighty, so now we're going to just smoke out the lower lash line Alrighty, now that we're done with face, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our lips. So I'm gonna line my lips with this MAC Chestnut Lip Liner that I got when I was in Chicago and I've been using it ever since. It's so freaking nice, y'all. So the lip color I'm gonna go in today is the MAC Holiday Collection Riri Bad, Girl, Bad Guy Riri. I wanted to do a dark color, but I've, I've been using this lately, so. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go do something with my head, honey. And I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty, doll, so this is the finished look. If you wanna know how I get my hair like this, then I will leave the video right here. So make sure you go check on it if you wanna know how I fluff my hair, get my baby edges on. The fuck, I mean, the fleet, no. On fleet, the fuck. <laughs> So make sure you check that video out. So that is how I go from a basic to a black Barbie and hook. So yes, get into it. Maybe I should get a little closer. Show you dolls the look. Yes, bitch. What? I got it going on. What, what? I got it going on. What, what? 
I used to be scared of the. Now I take shots to the, handle it like a real have the hunter. Uh, uh. I don't know what they want from me. It's like the mother being a murder. I'm a we see. Uh, uh. Alrighty, y'all. So. <laughs> So that concludes this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. If you want to see more talk through tutorials, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you dogs want to see next because, I mean, my brain do be coming out of ideas. So I need some ideas to keep these videos rolling for you dogs. Do not forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Snapchat. All at Yannick Rules. I will leave my snap code right here because I know some of y'all lazy and y'all ain't, you know, y'all just lazy, you know. But I am too, so I cannot judge. So, yeah, I will see you on my Snapchat and I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Zeus Well, let's see what my mama say. Three sis. <laughs>